I settled in at St. James down on the south side and became a very um, constant volunteer because I had a lot of time. Uh, after uh, my husband and I had married, I had uh, been the luxury of not having to work full time. So I was able to volunteer at church. We had a new pastor assigned to us. And uh, for some reason, I was one of the first people that he had uh, interviewed, so to speak, as to what, what happens at St. James. So I pr very proudly presented a directory to him that I had just completed. And while I was very proud of it, he had this look in his eyes like, hmm, this is okay, but something's missing. And he says, I don't see anything that you have in this directory about what St. James is about that takes us outside the walls of the church. And I said, well, you know, we're making sandwiches for the homeless. I was very proud of that. I thought I had caught on to what he was trying to tap into. And um, he said, oh, tell me about the men who are eating the sandwiches that you're making here at St. James. And I sunk because we had not met the men. Somebody from the shelter was coming to pick up those sandwiches. And I realized at that point that I missed the point, that there, the purpose of being of Christ and being of service is that connection that you have or that you create with the people that you're trying to serve. I knew I changed in that very moment. Hi, I'm Sheila Austin, and I'm the director of Emmaus Ministry. Emmaus Ministry is a nonprofit organization that is an outreach ministry on the south side of Syracuse. Uh, we serve those who are less fortunate than us. We feed them and give them clothing and just try to connect with them and to establish a better sense of value and dignity in their lives. Well, Emmaus, uh, we function from the Corporal Works of Mercy, which is part of our faith. And so feeding people who are hungry or uh, food uh, deprived uh, was our mainstay. That, we always felt as though we needed to have a hook so that we could have a reason to start relationships with people. So we use food and drink and clothing as those hooks. Uh, and it's for the purpose of getting to know them and getting to know this community. And when we get to know them, then we learn from them what are those other needs that they have. So we build on that. But uh, in general, uh, we have uh, distributed 57,000 meals just this year. That's up from 36,000 last year. And prior to COVID, we were 12,000. So it speaks to the huge need that's in this particular area. We provide uh, monthly grocery bags uh, for people that don't have enough food at the end of the month. We provide haircuts. We provide access to volunteer lawyers uh, if they have legal issues. We now have a volunteer that is a so retired social worker. She's on site three days. And um, so those sort of general basic needs that um, people like you and I don't really have to give too much thought about. And as we have continued to grow, uh, now that we're hopefully moving somewhat out of the, the COVID um, years, uh, we are expanding yet again. And we have uh, purchased a facility just out our back door. And it was the facility we first started in. And we're uh, converting that into a, a dental and medical clinic that we will be providing th uh, free services for anybody who, who needs it. This is uh, going to be the educational and conference room area so that the staff will come in here and uh, there'll be a monitor on the wall. They'll get their um, schedule for the, the day, the x-rays, they can review all those sort of things. And then they'll be able to go off and start their work. And then 
It will also work as a place where we can bring guests or bring our patients okay. in, sit down and do some health teaching, patient education, diabetes, hypertension, or overall health. These two rooms will be the medical rooms. Um, we are going to be scheduling a dentist first, or I should, well, yes, dentist first, but we will not be scheduling both specialties on one day. And our, our nucleus is going to be the people that are already come here. They already trust us. We have those relationships. So to help people that may be afraid to go to the dentist for the first time, uh, or afraid what the doctor's gonna tell them that might be wrong, because of our strong volunteer network, we're going to be able to use our volunteers to help literally move them from this building to the other building and uh, be with them through that process. My personal mission statement at this point in my life is to continually be grateful for what I have and to be able to uh, share that blessing that I have gained in my life with others. So now it was, what do you do about it? And having been a person who was extremely petrified of the South Side, and so this challenge was taking me now outside of my comfort zone. It was going to get me into the neighborhoods of the South Side. I had to find a way to get over my own fear of things that uh, I was not familiar with, with people that I was not familiar and comfortable with. And um, it took a process. Um, it took a very long process. But in order for me to be able to establish a ministry that was going to need volunteers, uh, I had to be comfortable with it so that I could sell the idea to others. So that was a, a journey in itself, but it was life changing. So if you're interested in helping Emmaus out, uh, I suggest that you go to the website, which is www.emmausministry.org. Uh, the website has a lot of information about ways that you can support us. Uh, one being through donations, obviously. Uh, it takes a lot of money for us to be able to serve those number of meals and, and the continued service that we have. On the website also are what we call items of need. It, it points out very specific things that we need, like the toothpaste, toothbrushes, those sort of things, uh, the food items that we need that makes it very easy for you as an individual or as a group, a school group or a church group to do uh, collections of items of need. Um, we're always looking for volunteers for sure, but specifically with us opening up this uh, new medical and dental clinic, we are looking for uh, dentists, we are looking for dental hygienists, dental assistants, we're looking for physicians, nurses, uh, nurse practitioners who would be interested in using those gifts and talents that they have uh, been able to acquire during their lives and uh, we providing them a venue to be able to serve others.